glad y'all come out here today to visit me out in my own pond. Uh, over the winter, I laid some structure down in several places. I got wood, you know, trees where I cut down. And we trimmed on the cedar tree over here. And me and my buddy Brandon, we just laid out some good fishing crappie structure. And usually your pond, your pond crappie, usually a start up before some lakes. And I know I was catching them down here this winter when it was cold. I mean cold. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. One thing, one thing I like, you know, I wish everybody would learn is there's a lot of ponds here in this great state of Missouri. And a lot of farmers have these ponds. Private landowners. They're a great fishery, but you got to learn to respect it. You know, go at, go ask the guy. Might be a woman that owns it. You never know. Go ask them and um, say, "Hey, can I go down to your place go fishing?" You know, most of them will say no. Well, I'm going to tell you the reason they're going to say no is flat out. They've had somebody come in and try to strip them out. Just take all their fish. They get, they want to catch all they can eat. You know, so they can go have the, the world famous fish fry. You can't do that to another person's fishery. You just can't do it. I have people ask me all the time if they can come out here and go fishing. I don't care if a person comes out and goes fishing. You know, just ask me. But I'm gonna lay down some ground rules. You know, I'll, you it's catch and release. You just sit and catch them and you throw them back. Because I like to have this place for kids. That's really the only people I wanna fish it, is kids. Because they have a chance of catching a good bass down here at the pond. And believe you me, I'm probably one of the biggest kids down here fishing this thing. So we're just going to take and fish a jerk bait and um, give it another try. We're all bundled up and ready to go. What I'll do is I'll make a cast out there and I'll just sweep it down. And then I'll twitch it a couple times and I'll just let it sit there. And it's just going to sit there suspended in the water. The water's cold. This is a good cold water bait. Um, getting back to what we was talking about, you know, there is going to be some, some farmers that are going to, you know, property owners and stuff going to tell you no on fishing their pond because people leave their trash. They um, invite people that's not even invited. And... They just don't, they don't care for that kind of stuff. So that's stuff you got to avoid because nine times out of 10, there's going to be, there's going to be somebody's going to tell you, yeah, go down there and go fish, have a good time. And then, you know, you might ask them, do you care if we keep a, a small little limit to take home to eat? And they'll tell you whether you can or not. So then you just go down and go fishing and one of the, Important thing you might say is, do you mind if, um, do you eat fish? And they say, yeah, we eat fish. Well, if I catch some, I'll give them to you. And that will help you have permission to fish also. You can't be like, you know, some people. Some people make it rough on everybody else. There's, there's always a good and a bad to the whole deal. And you just, you just do what you can. But always pick up your trash. And if the trash don't belong to you, pick up someone else's trash. I'm using a X-Wrap Slash Bait by Rapala. It's a um, ghost minnow color. I've got a lot of brush in this, in this place. And, um... <laughs> I got one tree out here. It's probably got over a thousand dollars 
Where's the lures <laughs> hanging on it? One of them, one of them's an A rig, buddy made, and he threw out there and hung up in the tree. And uh, I'm fishing this a little bit faster than normal because it's cold. I should be fishing it slower. But I haven't got myself talked into the routine and the patience that I need to do. You know, because that's, I mean, that's jerkbait fishing. You just twitch that down and it's, it's just twitch, twitch, you know. And then if you get real bored, and you're tired of twitching, you just twitch, twitch, wiggle, wiggle. Kind of keep warm, keep yourself warmed up. <laughs> it's it, it's hard for me to fish a jerk bait. I got to really train myself to do better. I think I was oh what was it? It's one of the coldest days we had before the water froze. It was like 19 degrees air temp, and I came down to the pond and I caught on my last cast. For the day, I caught the biggest largemouth bass out of this pond on this jerk bait, and it it went close to four pounds. So they'll bite in cold weather, and it was 19 degrees. I'm gonna take and move to another spot here real quick, but I want to just give you a close-up look of the lure that I'm using. It's a Rapala. X-Rap slash bait. It's got kind of some fluorescent feather on the treble. And it suspends good, works well. We'll just see if we can get some luck. I'm fishing it on eight pound fluorocarbon. Fluorocarbon lets it, you know, helps it sink and stay down. It helps it weight, weights it. And it just suspends under the water. And it, it's kind of suspended nose first. And I like my jerk baits to be kind of nose down because it gives an imitation that it's a minnow or a shad dying. Oh, fishing's terribly tough today. Fish on. Hey, this is what the show's all about, people, is fish on. And that is a nice slab crappie on a jerk bait. Look at this. We are doing good. I found me some crappie. That's what the show is all about. Now, if you can get a close up, look the size of the fish and look the size of the minnow plug there. But that's exactly, that's what we're trying to do. And what I ought to do is I ought to keep that, but I'm going to go ahead and throw it back. I'm not in the mood to eat it tonight. But I caught that on that, and it, here's another thing to look at, the front hook. It ate it at the front hook. That's always a good sign. And the hook's in the mouth. She didn't, um, she didn't slap at it. So that's a good sized crappie. Very good sized crappie, good slab crappie. We're going to throw her back because I just don't feel like eating today. Let's see what else we can get out there off that same spot. There's a, I don't know if you can, let me get this down. Okay, I don't know if you can see it, but if you pan the camera over, you'll see a little twig just kind of sticking right out of the water. And that's some brush that I got sat there. And um, that crappie come right off the, the front, kind of front back side of that, that little twig. Maybe we can get lucky and that'd be, a, be another one right there. And it's looking like a dead minnow. Well, that crappie, it's, it just can't resist it. It's like, hey, there it is. And I'm gonna get up there and get me an easy meal. And I don't know that fish is on there. I didn't even know that crappie was on there until I went to twitch it, and then I felt the weight. And that's what's fun about jerkbait fishing, is you go, you go to make that twitch, and there's a, there'll be a fish on. You all, that's the most 
important thing about fishing, find you a pond to go fish, you know, like we've been talking. Find you a pond and take you a kid. Take your daughter, take your son, take your nephew, take your niece. Get out to a pond, go fishing, and make some memories. Still fishing this jerk bait. It's the only thing we caught a fish on is um, the jerk bait, this little ghost minnow rapala, x rap. This, this won't work well. You know, if you can't find a pond to get to, Go out and fish the banks over Macon City Lake. Get on them banks and make a cast. Cast that lure out and um, let it, once you get it down under the water, you'll know, sweep it and then let it sit. Let it sit for a little, you know, count down one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, four 1,000, and then twitch, twitch. One 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, four 1,000, five 1,000, twitch, twitch, wiggle, wiggle, get yourself warm, <laughs> and then, you know, twitch it again. My last report, you couldn't even, uh, you couldn't even get to the hand, to the, the fish on, yeah. There we go. That's a good crappie too. Fish on. I got a little little cedar tree laid right out there off of that. Now I'm starting to think I should have kept some crappie. <laughs> now, I want you to look at this on this crappie. That's a good slab crappie right there. I have been growing, you know, trying to have harvest, selective harvest to make good crappie. And you see how that jerk bait's down in the mouth? It's eating this jerk bait. That tells me I'm dialed in to the right pattern. And I don't want to I don't want to quit this pattern. This pattern's working. I should have brought my basket over here and kept some of my crappie. That's two real nice ones. That's a good good eating crappie. And that's good for my pond. So like I said, selective harvest is what's helping me raise some good crappie. That's got some good shoulders on it, and I gotta have some sugar. Mwah! Gotta have some sugar when you're fishing. I mean, that's what it's all about, getting that sugar, having a good time. The wind is blowing directly on that, so that's a good, that's a good spot. I'm gonna try and make another cast and see if I can't get another one there. Well, that, that's that's the spot right there. And I'll, I'll twitch, I'll pull that down, kind of drag it down. And I'm gonna twitch it, and now I'm gonna just let it sit there. Just gonna let that jerk bait just sit there. And the two crappie I've caught, they've hit it on the when it's sitting there dead in the water. And we didn't get skunked. And <laughs> we got out of here and caught two so far. Pull it down, twitch it once. We're gonna let that sit there. Uh, the old sanitarium, Lakeview Towers. They, um, Lakeview Towers of Macon. There's a, there's like a little lake back there behind it. There's a conservation fishing dock there. You, you can drive down to it. You know, it's handicapped parking fish off that dock and you can drive I believe you can drive around the whole thing I don't know if you can or not don't hold me to it I think you can drive to a certain spot and then you have to walk the rest and fish that backside there's a lot of grass in that lake also and just get out there and see what you can do with this x-wrap you can buy them at Walmart they're um I think they're around seven, eight dollars. And like I said, the one I'm throwing is ghost minnow. Ghost minnow color. What it is, it's a slash bait, it's what they call it. But it has the feathery tail and it's got a real shallow diving lip. And it'll kind of sit in the water 
kind of like, you know, tilted, nose down, and the fluorocarbon will help keep that lure under the water. So, I'm going to cast it back out here and see if we can get another one. Right there, choked it down. The bite is getting real good, finally. What I was doing here is this is on, I use this mainly for like shaky head fishing, but it works well on light crankbaits and light jerk baits like we're throwing today. This jerk bait is a Rapala X-Rap. It's a kind of like a slash bait, but it's a suspending jerk bait. The feather tail is a little bit translucent fluorescent, so it puts off a lot of flash. I'm throwing it on a speed spin, laser speed spin lose reel with eight pound test fluorocarbon. Fluorocarbon line, like I said the other night before when we had a show one day. It sinks, it keeps, keeps the jerk bait down, and that's what we want. Well, I want to thank everybody for coming out and uh, hanging out with me down here at my pond. We talked about pond fishing and hopefully a little bit of suggestions on how to let you keep pond, you know, get a chance to pond fish with some neighbors or whatever. Make it out to Macon Blee's Lake or Macon City Lake, throw that jerk bait and hopefully you catch some fish and get some fish on for you. Now I like to say I'm very happy to be part of the Red Leaf Outdoors Pro Staff. Be watching for more of my shows. I'm just getting started at this. So be a few little bloopers and mistakes, but I think we're coming along real nice. And I want to take and give a shout out to everybody that supports me and lets me do this thing. But if you have any questions, get a hold of me on Facebook, Sam Sagasser on Facebook. You can also Twitter me, which is at Sam Sagasser at Twitter. And I got a website now. Take and you know, find my website. It's called Fish On with Sam Sagasser. And you can post pictures of the fish you catch. You know, get the kids out. You know, you and your neighbor, your friend, y'all go fishing, get a fish on, send the pictures to me. I'm really like to see them. Looking forward to it. Ask me questions. Send it to my email. I believe it's on my face on my um website. <laughs> so give me a little bit of time at this, you know, it's all working out. And just remember, every day is a good day to go fishing when it ends in Y. Have a nice day.